Cypher, India's first multi-gaming, multi-platform e-sports championship. Six teams of 14 players each compete across four games. Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Dota 2, Tekken 7 and Real Cricket 17. Each team faces the other team twice in the league stage. And three points each are awarded to the winning team of Tekken 7 and Real Cricket 17 in each match. Five points each are awarded to the winning teams of Dota 2 and CSGO games in a match. The top four teams in the league stage move to the knockout rounds. U Cypher, six teams, 84 cyber athletes, and a grand prize pool of 51 lakh rupees. Life is nothing but a game. You gotta tackle your problems, block your fears, and score points at every opportunity. The name of this game is U Cypher. After 18 exhilarating days of gaming, we've seen both cakewalks and tough competitions. Which one will it be today in the second match between the Yodhas and Yakshas? That's what today is all about. Last time these two teams fought, the scores were 11-5 where the Yakshas won. My name is Varun and I am super curious to find out what is going to And I'm sure you are too. So let the game begin! The number two team on the leaderboard and the second team is always more thirsty than the first. You guys are at 60 points and just one point away are the marksmen. But today we're going up against the Yodhas who are the draw kings of you cypher. They are either tie or they are hard. And against you guys last time, they lost. Buzz, second round Robin, second time against the Yakshas. Tough team is in front of us. Last time we were 1-3 hard. So... आज मेक शॉर्ट करेंगे कि हम लोग अच्छे से खेले और अच्छे से परफॉर्म करें। आज मैं इनको कुछ नहीं बोलूँगा, आज इनको बोलने वाला हूँ टीम को कि do whatever you want to do, man, but we have to win today. It's very important. Akrit, tell me how you're doing today. Last time सिर्फ CS में आ रहे थे, तो today we'll try to go 16-0 against them. All right, clean sweep on the card. The Yaksha seem intensely confident, and why shouldn't they be? This is day 19 of our championship, and we're looking at a clean sweep. Today is match day 19 in U-Cypher Championship and for the second time, Yakshas are facing off Yodhas and Yodhas are on a revenge path. The Yodhas are 42 points at 5th position and we have the Yakshas far ahead at 60 points in 2nd position. So today's matchup is more important for the Yodhas to get those important points. So let's see if the Yodhas can finally stop their streak of tying games or the Yakshas can go on top of the table. If you think our first game of the day is just like any other fighting game, then you have no idea what I'm talking about. Tekken 7 is medicinal. If you know anyone with road rage, anger issues, attitude problems, it's high time you prescribe to them Tekken 7. Players apni characters select karenge. Har round mein jiska HP khatam ho jayega, wo round har jayega. हर मैच एक रेस है तीन राउंड्स जीतने की और जो प्लेयर पहले तीन मैचेस जीतेगा वो बनेगा टेकिन सेवन का विनर। Let the battle begin। Crispy and Johnny Tank, you guys seem a little stressed out right now. Not exactly, I'm just looking forward to play against him. Same here. Good luck. Thank you. Let this be as satisfying as it always is. So these two gentlemen are going to be playing with Katarina and Lucky Chloe. Watch out for these guys. And if you think this is going to be a cat fight, keep watching. Hello everyone. Today it's going to be the Yakshas versus the Yodhas. On Yakshas we have Jaunty Tang and on Yodhas we have Archie's Crispy. Round 1. Fight. Katrina starting off aggressive over Lucky Chloe and Lucky Chloe with good blocks as well but Katrina is not stopping there. That combo from Katrina, a 7 hitter pushes Lucky Chloe into the corner but Lucky Chloe with the rage art well it does connect on Katrina. Katrina now taking some huge damage from that rage art. 
Still coming back into the game, but well, a double flip from Lucky Chloe. She misses it, and that is gonna be a whip for Nish. Round two. Fight. Lucky Chloe with nice hop kicks to Katrina, and that double, but that was missed. And now Katrina taking advantage of that. Both of them keeping distance between each other back and forth again. And that lucky glory that windmill miss again. This is gonna be a whip punish, a seven hitter combo from Katrina. Nice. Lucky Chloe with the rage art. Well, it doesn't connect that jump from Katrina, and now it's gonna be a knockout. Round three. Fight. Katrina at the start going for the higher kicks, but that was blocked from Lucky Chloe. Now again maintaining a distance between each of them, and that windmill move from Lucky Chloe. Now Katrina trying to be aggressive over Lucky Chloe. Lucky Chloe going low on HP. Well, she now has the rage art on her, but Katrina not showing any mercy. That's gonna be a knockout. Yaksha's win match number one of best of five three nil. Katrina being quite aggressive at the start of the round, and that seven hitter combo again strikes back. Pushing Lucky Chloe into the corner, she is going low on HP. There's the rage art that comes from Lucky Chloe. It is surely gonna connect and give some damage to Katrina, but still a huge HP lead on her and good blocks as well. And this is gonna be a knockout. Round two, fight. Both of them quite passive gameplay at the start, and now Katrina is gonna be the first. To go in and give some damage to Lucky Chloe, but Lucky Chloe as well with that toss on Katrina. Now Katrina is stuck into the corner. She is low on HP, and again like, with the happy swing, a good clash from Lucky Chloe. Now Katrina going low on HP, but now the rage art it has been blocked from Lucky Chloe, and Lucky Chloe is gonna knock her out. Three, fight. Looks like John T is now reading the game for Lucky Chloe. He's playing passive compared to like what he was playing in the previous rounds. And again with that seven hitter combo, pushes Lucky Chloe into the corners. Lucky Chloe on rage at, but looks like she's not gonna get that time to execute it. And this is a perfect round. Round four. Fight. Katrina with a nice uppercut, but block from Lucky Chloe. Lucky Chloe with nice a uh, hop kick. The backflip doesn't connect, but Katrina is still low on HP. A 50% damage already given to her. Again with the low kick, she notices that like Lucky Chloe is not blocking nice, towards nice, low, nice, nice. and Lucky Chloe with amazing moves, but Katrina with that rage art will just connect on Lucky Chloe, and it is gonna give no. It is gonna be like a slither of HP. On Lucky Chloe, but this clash and double flip. What is this match between these two players? And Katrina makes a win the match. Yaksha's win match number two, three one. Katrina starting aggressive in the round and with the seven hitter combo again pushes Lucky Chloe into the corners. Looks like she doesn't has a chance in this round, and that's a perfect for the Yaksha's. Round two, fight. Katrina starts with a nice uppercut, but luckily blocks it and nice hop kicks from her, instantly giving a burst damage to Katrina. She has gone low on 50% of HP, and now with the low kicks, like as usual, she is not blocking low. That is a whip punish for her. She is going low on HP, stuck into the corners. A nice clash between these two players. Lucky Chloe with the rage art with dust connect on Katrina, and it's surely gonna be a knockout. Round three. Fight. Well, Katrina with a low kick and now maintaining a distance, but now being aggressive on Lucky Chloe with a nice combo from Katrina. Both of them maintaining a distance between each other. Lucky Chloe just rushes in but gets punished for it. That's a second perfect for John B. Round four. Fight. Again with a nice uppercut from Katrina, but that was blocked. Lucky Chloe with a happy swing. And good blocks from Lucky Chloe. She is now leading the game of Katrina with good low kicks, but blocks from Katrina as well, and a good reversal from Lucky Chloe. She is now starting to take some damage from Katrina, but Katrina already low. She has an HP advantage on Lucky Chloe. With that kick, she is going to knock her out. Final round. 
this is gonna be the final round if Katrina wins this she is gonna win the match and if Lucky Cray wins it we gonna go for the next match Lucky Cray with a back flip and block from Katrina so Katrina whip punishing her well both of them now playing with single single hits on each other not going for any combos just so they cannot do any mistakes in the game Katrina going low on HP and this can be fatal but she comes with the rage art and with just the neck on lucky chloe and that's amazing move it's gonna make the yakshas win the game Your middle name has to be Onage. <laughs> if that was an Onage, I don't know what it was. Although he did put up a fight, yeah, but yeah. the way that you flat rolled him, I'm not sure Archie's so crispy anymore. <laughs> Great start to the day. Yes. You guys have now got three points. They are at zero, but I still remember that you guys are going for a clean sweep. Yes. You guys have yes. got your start. Yes. Yeah. Let's go into the next three games. The Yakshas are winning. Up next, we have Real Cricket 17. The last time Kunwao and I bought faced off, the match was so interesting. I mean, we have never witnessed such a match on Ucipher ever. The match went into a super over where Kunwao scored 30 runs and the Yakshas I bought, he won by only one run. Will we witness the same excitement today? Let's find out. This is a batting only match. Hai. Har player will face one over karega, which will jisme usse maximum runs. Banane honge. Maximum runs banane wala player match jeet jayega. Tie hone par, dono players ek super over khelenge to decide the winner. Akrid and Vaz, ready for game two? Yeah. Is Sachin back in his form? Yes, Sachin is back in his form. Last two games jeeta hai ho. Aur batting second karke jeeta hai. To hopefully aaj bhi toss jeet jaun to batting second ho. So you want to chase? Yes. And you? I don't mind anything. So batting pehle karke bhi jeet chuka hai, chase karke bhi jeet chuka hai to chalta hai. All right. Who will call? I'll call. Heads. Heads it is? Yes. See, they'll be chasing. You don't have to worry about it. All the best. All the best. Good luck. Will the game be exciting? Will there be another super over? Will I stop talking and start the game? Yes, I will. Time for some cricket. Welcome back to Real Cricket 17. Now, the match is between the Yakshas and the Yodhas. First ball comes in and it's a hit towards nice. the boundary. It's a six. Nice. Oh. Second ball of the over, wax it towards the leg side. Nice. It's going for a four. Oh. A huge hit from I bought it is going towards the boundary. It's a six. And that's straight down the middle, it's going for a six. Nice Four shot, balls, 22 nice runs. Second last ball of the over, nice. wax it against towards the boundary. It is going nice. for a six. Nice. Last ball of the over. Towards the leg side again, it crosses the stadium. It's a six. The Yodhas now need 35 runs in six balls. First ball for the Odas and he misses it. The Yakshas have won the game. It's time to take the guns out. It's time for Counter Strike Global Offensive. Yakshas and Yodhas are pro at this game. Which team has a better aim? Let's find out. But uske pehle, Counter Strike is kuch niyam hai. Wo jaan lete. In this game, there are two teams. One is a terrorist team and the other is a counter-terrorist team. This is a team-based game that will be played in 5 vs 5 format. Which map will be played in the player? This will be a banning process. In the start, both teams get the game currency of $800. The aim of the terrorist team is to plant the bomb and secure it and kill all the counter-terrorists. 
The aim of the counter-terrorist team is to either defuse the bomb or kill all the terrorists. This match may 30 rounds honge and the first team to win 16 rounds is the game winner. In the case of a tie, the result will be decided with a race to four wins. Come on, boys. Aagaya time. Aaj tough padega game last time se. In log ke samne meko abhi nahi haar raha hai. Thik hai, info no tha, ulo ka map tha. Ham log ne underestimate kiya, over confident the. Practice kam tha. Abhi lekin jeetne ga hai. In log ko maarne ga hai. First round pe concentrate karo guys. Pistol round bhoot important hai. Wo jeetna hi hai. Let's go. Come on guys. Let's go. ठीक है लेट्स गो कम ऑन गाइस लेट्स गो कोयोदा विद मी आई हैव एक्रेट्स कडूश एंड वाज वेलकम टू योर गेम 3 सीएसगो वाज आपका जो अभी लूजिंग स्ट्रीक चल रहा है सीएसगो में वो काफी डिसअपॉइंट कर रहा है आपकी पूरी टीम को सो दिस विन इज रिक्वायर्ड दे हैव बेटर प्लेयर्स एंड दे आर इन फॉर्म लाइक ही गॉट 37 किल्स लास्ट गेम आई हर्ड सो दैट्स प्रीटी इंप्रेसिव एंड मजा आएगा Keeping every loss aside, you have one thing working in your favor. Last time you beat Yakshas 16 to 9, and you were the MVP. Yes. So that's great. It'll be same today. I'll try to lead from front. Uh, I know that the team needs our team. Because we have two games and we need to win this anyhow. To be in the league and to be in top four, we need this game. Yes. Skadoosh, the man with the maximum kills. Oh, yes. What's your plan with them? Because last time up. काफी बुरी तरह हारे थे। Yeah, every time we've lost the game here. हम लोग जब भी हारे हैं, हमारी mistakes की वजह से हारे हैं। Yeah, credit to the people who've beaten us. Yes. पर हम लोग हम मुझे personally लगता है हम हमारी mistakes की वजह से हारे हैं। We've practiced a lot more. And yeah, that showed in the last match as well. All the best. All the best. This is the map, Vito. And now let's see what do they choose. And it's gonna be Inferno. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Counter Strike between the Yakshas and the Yodhas. Now, it's gonna be the knife round between these two teams, and the winner of the knife round is gonna choose the side T as in terrorist and CT as in counter terrorist. Well, the knife begins, and Impale is gonna be the first one to chop down worse, and a second backstab from Impale, and the third one as well. So the Yakshas have won the knife round and choose to play as cities. So let's see what is gonna be the strategy for today's game for the Yakshas and the Yodhas. Well the round one begins and looks like it's gonna be a three man setup on towards the inner bomb side. And Recall Monster pushing towards Highway, he gets an easy frag on Wuzz. The captain of the Yodhas have already gone down and now his brother Plexa is moving towards the tunnel 1 and he gets a frag on Mantri. It's just ripping off the head of Mantri, Friction moving into the side, he gets one frag. And now it's gonna be Rizla in a 4v3 situation but he manages to get two frags towards the city mid. And now the last man standing is gonna be Starboy. He is struggling with his aim and the friction is gonna end him with a nice headshot. Marker now pushing towards the inner side with a molly. Skadoosh already melting down to players of the Yodhas and now Impel with one frag and the second one as well. And Skadoosh with the op shot towards mid, he gets Rizla. One frag already down, looks like Skadoosh is on fire right now. What an amazing game by him and now Impel is getting a boost towards the city mid, he gets a frag on Pexa. And meanwhile, the players have like taken over to the outer bomb side and now Recall Master coming from tunnel to gets one frag. On the player, it's gonna be Markland to go down now in a 2v2 situation. Well, two Aukas on the Yakshas and two Rifles on the Yodhas. Oh, Friction waiting with a perfect angle. He hears a player to his left. He shuts him down and Recall Master managing to get down one frag. But worse, he gets one frag. Rizla holding towards the alley, throws a molly but finally gets a frag on Mantri. Mantri goes down, 
Well, Recall Master, that luck and that timing from him. And Skadoosh is just waiting there, getting two easy kills. And Impale as well, two instant frags for him. <laughs> Marklon just rushing towards the outer bomb site. And he finds the frag, but he misses the shot on him. But finally manages to get a kill on him. And Rizla with his amazing two kills on Impale and Skadoosh. And Pexa over here gets a nice reflex shot. <laughs> Impale pushing towards the inner bomb side gets a nice shot on him. And Skadoosh with that one deep amazing hit. Vasco, who was peeking at me, I hit a very good shot. And C4 fell down. And we knew that the other two players were going to come here. Quick shot, man, he didn't get one player. But Mantri with that scout kill on him. He goes down. And now it's going to be 8 to 7, the first half. Now it's time for second half and the teams have been switched. So the Yodhas will play as Cities and the Yakshas will play as Tees. So it looks like a rush coming in from the Yakshas is gonna go towards the inners and a nice setup from the Cities as well. So the Yakshas are moving towards the small ladder. Pexa finds the head of Impale and one more kill for him. He finds Kadush as well. Recall Master sneaking in through the smokes, gets a frag on Pexa on the bomb side. And now Mantri rushing in towards the side. The player is confused where to find him. And now Was goes down. And Rizla and Friction in a 2v3 situation. Over here, Starbuck granting the C4 on the side. Rizla moving in slowly, gets a frag on Recall Master, making it a 2v2 situation. And now it's gonna be a one on two for Rizla. And Starboy is low on HP, he is just juking him well and Rizla couldn't connect but finally he does. And now it's a one-on-one -on -one situation between Mantri and Rizla. He doesn't have a kid and not much time as well to defuse the bomb. And it's pretty much over for them as Mantri gets a nice headshot. सामने वालों ने बहुत ही अच्छा बी रश एग्जीक्यूट किया मतलब फास्ट वो लोग बी बॉम्ब सेट पे है लेकिन वहाँ पे जो रिजला था और माकलॉन था उन्होंने बहुत ही अच्छे किल लिए माकलॉन एंड फिक्शन होल्डिंग द इनर साइड क्वाइट वेल एंड नाउ माकलॉन गोज डाउन बाय रिकॉल मास्टर now it's going to be a 2 on 2 situation. A good smoke from Pexer and Recall Master couldn't spot him jumping down. And this would be the end for him. Now Skadoosh left in a 1 on 2 situation. Firing through the smoke, the bullet couldn't connect on Pexer and C4 has been defused. A heavy rush coming from the team mid. And now it's gonna be Skadoosh to shut down Pexa, a huge rush from them. Now it's a 4v4 situation. The C4 is going down by Impale. And Skadoosh is waiting for a backstab over here. And he gets Rizla Nation, making it a 4v3. The players are on eco. They do not have much to fight with, but they should still. It's a CZ. And one by one, the players of the Yodhas are going down. A huge rush coming in by Marklon with two, three easy frags and fourth one as well. Quad kill coming in for Marklon. What an amazing game. Skadoosh now left in a one on three situation. He finds one frag and now Marklon and worse. Versus Skadoosh. So now it's a critical situation for him. हम लोग का कॉल था कि इनर जाना है मेरा स्पॉन था बेसिकली मेरे को एक गिल फ्री में मिले थे उधर उसको रिफ्रैक करने के इसमें दूसरा वाला मर गया तीसरा वाला बैक से मर गया था मेरा स्टार वे मैनेजिंग टू गेट ऑलरेडी टू फ्रैग्स ऑन टू द योद्धास एंड नाउ माकलन गेटिंग अ नाइस रिफ्रैक्ट टू द इनर साइड एंड रिजला नेशन फाइंडिंग वन हेड टूवर्ड्स द आउटर बॉम्ब साइड स्कडूश होल्डिंग अ गुड एंगल स्पॉट्स माकलन एंड गेट्स अ फ्रैग ऑन हिम एंड नाउ 
this is gonna be the last round for the Akshas to go to the match point. Well, this is the last round of this game. If the Yothas win it, it's gonna be an overtime for this game. And looks like they are doing it a 4v2 situation. And one by one, the players are going down. Impil trying his heart to get this game. And now Skadoosh goes down. So the C4 is down. Now it's on Impil, a 1 on 3 situation. And he finds one track on Friction. But Markland with the one easy tap on him. Now the game is 15 all. And it's time for overtime. Looks like the Yakshas are pushing towards the outer side and Recall Master over here. He is actually gonna push through mid. Fast jayenge, lekin smoke flash use karke jayenge, aise nahi jayenge. So they were not able to capitalize on it. They were playing their normal game. Or slow hamara read kar liya tha, fast ja rahe to aim pe maar rahe, karne to kare kya? Pocket strat. Pocket strat fir se hum logon ne over time ke first round mein use kiya. Well, Friction holding the side but couldn't do much as he goes down by Impale. Well, Starboy holding towards the alley and friends, he gets too easy frag on Wurz and Rizla. Well, Recall Master holding on to the city mid with a good angle. He spots one guy and through the smoke gets a second frag as well. And now Impale is gonna shut the last guy. <laughs> Mantri holding towards the alley but now the players are gonna make an entry from the mid so now it's a very important round for them as well and it's gonna be Skadoosh lines up two guys and shoots them down what an amazing spot shot from Skadoosh and Starboy is gonna end the last guy it's gonna be friction to go down and this game is GG the Yakshas win the game Next time, if these people come, then I'll tell my mom that these people have gone. They wish that we don't have the semi-finals. If we don't have the semi-finals, then we'll see what will happen in CSGO's match. Now that's what I call a game. What an amazing, amazing match-up here. You got your revenge back, you played with determination, focus and finally, the victory is yours. Yeah, it was not an easy victory but still it's a victory. I'm super proud of my team today. I mean, you guys were at it. Kabhi ek point, kabhi ek point. Ek point, ek point. And finally, it went into overtime. Yes. Don't lose heart, you guys played so well, but Archer up didn't need her. Your team didn't let you down. We will not aim, we will play strategy. Se khelenge, and that worked against the Yodhas. Definitely. And that leads you to 11 points right now. And Yodhas, you're still zero. But don't lose heart, still one game to go. All the best. And great job done by Yakshas. Well played, bro. Thanks. The intensity is tearing the roof apart. I mean, I'm shaking right now. If you, like me, have been holding on to your seat this whole time, it is with good reason because you just witnessed a CSGO match for the history books. But I suggest you also grab your popcorn and keep that seat because up next is a game that keeps our players up at night. To practice, of course. Up next is Dota 2. Dota 2 में हर प्लेयर अपने लिए एक हीरो सिलेक्ट करेंगे। इस गेम में दो टीम्स कंपीट करेंगी इन अ 5 वर्सेस 5 फॉर्मेट। हर हीरो के पास स्पेशल पावर्स और एबिलिटीज होती हैं। हर टीम का ऑब्जेक्टिव है अपने एंशंस को डिफेंड करना और अपने ओपोनेंट के सारे टावर्स को डिस्ट्रॉय कर देना। जो टीम पहले एनिमी टीम के डिफेंस को तोड़कर उनके सारे टावर्स डिस्ट्रॉय कर देगी, वो टीम जीतेगी।
After having a shaky start at the very beginning of this season, the Yodas, under the leadership of Levin, are increasingly looking like the team to beat in Season 1 of U Cypher. But do they have what it takes to beat the tournament favourites? Kale on the top lane. Looks like he's in a bit of trouble himself now. Drops that overwhelming odds along with the neutral creep. So he does a little bit of damage on the VP. Even ends up soaking up some of that battery assault damage towards neutrals. He's trying to make a run for it. Punk is just giving chase. Doing a lot of damage with those glaives. This could be an early set of intelligence stolen away. And indeed, Kale will go down. Mm -hmm. Kale once again needs to be careful. Actin has a lot of mana to work with. You've got the arcane curse coming through. The storm bolt to follow. VP just running in with the battery assault. And Kale... I mean, he's going to eventually be run down. He's getting punished for not putting that second skill point in to press the attack. Doesn't have any debuff to really help him in those sticky situations and he's going to end up falling. Top 11. Looks like he's going to meet his maker now because VP wants some revenge. But Kale once again dropping big overwhelming odds. Does a fair bit of damage but it doesn't matter. Punk manages to steal a whole bunch of intelligence in this early game here. He's got four stolen intelligence already. And it's just five minutes in. Kale wants the kill on Punk. He's still giving chase. The overwhelming odds should be coming off cooldown very shortly. Punk trying to juke. There's a fish up for good measure. And with the backup from the Earth Shaker, they should get this kill. But Kale stunned under his tower. Slowed down with the arcane because he does end up getting himself a double kill before he goes down. Yeah, both Punk as well as BP just bunching up and bottom lane, Sean the Omni Slash Blade Fury, textbook kill on Kalnayak. Kalnayak though, back for revenge, gets some spins of his own going, but now it's Shandi that returns the favor with the Blade Fury coming out. Acme was there for backup, they meet the Enchant Totem Sun, but Kalnayak, he's trying to juke left and right, salves up even to try and stay alive, goes through the trees, but it looks like he's gonna die. Pops that call, tries to run some more, tries to get down towards the south side, he has a TP, but Shandi runs him down and takes him out. Kale top lane, he has got the dual punk standing stationary for a second and there's Levin, there's Abs on the pub now. It's an early dual victory going in favour of the LC. Appa meanwhile using that astral imprisonment, setting it up like he wants to get this kill. Does get a little bit of damage done but Abs now knows that the life train can't be taken away but the global silence puts a stop to his plans. Bottom lane, VP goes in, drops the cogs, pushes back Shandi, but Shandi's gonna get the tier one down. Now VP doesn't have the hook shot, so he's got no real way of closing the gap. And Shandi, having done most of the heavy lifting, seems to want to go back, drops the Omni Slash, does a fair bit of work on a VP. The silence is there courtesy the last one, but Shandi's gonna get the kill. He's fast and he's looking for more. With the Blade Fury, he's gonna find Punk. He moves on to VOD, who's held in place with the duel, and he's gonna fall as well. Good stuff coming out from the Yodas, finding kills when there were supposed to be none. Appa just allows himself to be life trained like this, but it was the bait. Because Kalnaya came in with the blink dagger, they got the global silence going as well. So they get the kill on 11 and now they're looking for one more. Shondi, however, on the high ground. May and Kale looking to team up and bring down Acrid Echo Slam committed. Kale goes in with the press the attack. The duel at the very end and then Acme punching from outside. That should be a kill. Well executed gank there on the top side. Now meanwhile, Appa getting army slashed off. BP was there to soak up some of the damage, but ends up being the casualty himself. Now Appa can't really cancel Shondi's TP, but the axe sure can. They come in with the call while Acrid comes in with the punches. Shondi continues to survive. Acme comes in, stops them in their tracks, all while a chain frost beats up on them. They haven't died just yet though. Yakshas want to fight their way through this acme somehow still alive through all of this as Abs comes in with the life train. This fight, there's been so much thrown down but so, such few deaths. Finally, they end up losing the Pugna on the high ground and it looks like the rest of the Yodas are, are trying to bail. Yeah. BP though, he's found 11 in no man's land and he's gonna hook shot and find the Pugna as well. Collide with the call, a kill on the Pugna could be used while elsewhere the OD's done some real work and brought down the Lich as well. Kalnayak as well as the Axe is looking to turn this but here comes Kale with the duel, he's found the Axe, will get the kill while Shondi runs away with the Blade Fury, they're looking for more though and there's Acme with the control, with the lockdown, Shondi is wicked sick, they're moving on Acme but this Sven is beefy but not beefy enough for Kale as well as the Juggernaut. Roshan goes down, Shondi picks up the Aegis but Acre and Co still want to fight, Yaksha's angling to take this skirmish. 
Carnile jumps in, but both sides have Blade Mills activated. It's Kale versus an Axe, and it looks like Kale's gonna come out on top, especially with Axe life trading away from behind. Now it's high ground time with the Aegis in tow for the Juggernaut. Sean Lee, Blade Fury goes to work on the melee barracks. Carnile comes in with a call, but the Blade Fury was popped earlier on. He blinks back out, goes back to work on the barracks. They do manage to get away to safety now as BP jumps in with the hook shot. He's taking a hell of a beating himself, but Kale stops the OD before he can drop the hammer with the duel, the BKB, and the Blade Mill. It looks like that's the death on the OD. The Echo Slam now controlling them as well. There's the overwhelming loss to give Kale the double kill while the chain first goes to work. Akra's about to go down as well. Kale is just a monster at this point, getting himself a triple kill while the rest of his team takes down the barracks. Then you have Shandi coming in with the Omni Slash, slicing and dicing Luke Anaya, aiming towards Punk, sending him back to the fountain while Apps gets control on the left side. Excuse me, that was Appa though. And Appa's about to lose his own life as well. Another Astro keeps him alive. Kalak looking to turn this fight around. Acme dropping low. He got the last word on Acme. He's tanking a couple of tower hits. And with the Arcana curse and the battle longer, he's finally gonna end up falling. So we thought that this is all in. And we jumped on it. We jumped on it. We jumped on it. We jumped on it. ब्रिंक कॉल मारा एक्स ने उसके ऊपर मैंने गॉड स्ट्रेंथ करके उस पर मारना चालू किया बट उसका हार्डली हाफ एच पी गया और उसने पलट के ओमनी स्लैश मार दिया और ओमनी स्लैश के मेजर स्लैशेज मेरे पे गिरे और मैं वहाँ पे मर गया और मेरे पास बाईबैक भी नहीं था Was at last we saw a victory from the Yodhas. That game of Dota 2 was one of the quickest victories that we have ever seen on U Cipher so far. I have a feeling 11 did a really good job of drafting. But what do you think? All of them played well, and the Sean D played like really superb. He was the MVP for the game. Sean D. Yes, and they played well together. The communication was crisp, and all paid off, man. The hard work paid off. What accurate? Yes. You just missed your clean sweep, man. Yeah. I'm sensing this bitter sweet, like half pride, half hatred. I feel bad when I lose Dota. I don't enjoy losing. Well, learning for you guys, and I'm sure you guys now know that Dota is clearly your strength. Yes. So let's keep that going. But Yodhas, may I have to remind you that now you can't afford to lose a single game going forward if you want to qualify in the top four teams for the semis. Just I know that. We need to do some adjustments in CS:GO squad, and we'll practice together. We'll be back stronger. Wow. Good job, Yodhas. But the winners today are the Yakshas. You guys have got 11 points. This means that the Yakshas are right at the top of the table with 71 points. Holy! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Another resounding win for the men in green, the Yakshas. And it all again starts with this man to my right here, John D. Great start from you yet yeah. again. It, it deserves to be said that you are absolutely terrific. With your tech and gaming skills, you've only lost to Hans, yeah. and that says something about the skill set that you possess. Right. But then you continued with your winning ways. You won cricket, won CS. That's three wins in the bag, and that right. pretty much ended yeah. the, the tie there. Yeah. But you sort of took your foot off the gas and, and lost Dota. Yeah. Was that sort of expected in some sense, or were you pretty disappointed not to get the whitewash? With the game of Dota, uh, we were quite confident enough, yeah. and uh, the strategy that we were putting on to other opponents. Was used against us, <laughs> so I think that is the thing that costed yeah. us that match. So yeah. skill-wise, I don't think so. Yeah, that is possible that they'll do it again if they qualify. Right. But uh, I'm not disappointed. Yeah. But obviously, that whitewash me. Yeah, you want. That is an uh, thing to you know go off with. Well, you blanked them twice now. You've you've beaten the Yodas the first right. time you guys faced off. You've beaten them again the second time around. Previously, that must be we lost in CS, and this time, yeah, you, you you switched that around as well. So yeah. you at least got your CS back to winning ways right. versus them, right. and you've kept the overall victory. So right. overall, pretty happy at the way exactly. things are going at the moment. Yeah, yeah. because uh, that's what after the rough start uh, yeah. in the first leg, we lost uh, two matches. We won yeah. two matches, and one was a draw. One, yeah. So the only thing that we need to keep in mind for this tournament is that we don't have to lose one match. Correct. In order to finish the top spot, we are not aiming for second, third, fourth. Yep. We want to hit for the gold, yep. and that is the aim that we have to take forward. That is 
कि हर एक मैच इलेवन या तो टेन से जीतना ही है नो मैटर वॉट गेम इज इफ यू फॉल समन हैज टू बकेल इट अप एंड अप देर गेम सो दिस इज द गेम प्लान दैट वी आर फॉलोइंग योर नॉट बकलिंग वॉट्स अनदर विन फॉर जॉन टी एट टेक इन अनदर विन फॉर द यक्षाज ओवरऑल इलेवन टू फाइव ओवर दू दैट्स टू विन आउट ऑफ टू वर्स इज दर साइड इन कंटेंशन हेयर All the hard work, the sacrifices, and the time invested is showing results in round robin two. The team Yakshas played a champions game and are rightfully the champions of today. They very rightfully deserve the top spot on the leaderboard. Have a look for yourself. The Yakshas have made their way to the top with 71 points. The marksmen are next with 61. The Sherdils at 51. The Yodhas are at 47 points, and real close behind are the Akramaks with 46. Lastly we have the crusaders at 28 points. If you wish to see how victories like these are constructed, head over to your keyboard and type in usports.in and enter the world of esports. And tomorrow we have yet another match up between the crusaders and the sherdils. So we'll see you here same place same time on U Cypher Naya Sport Naya Superstars a U Sports initiative. My name is Aisha and I'm Varun. Do you cypher? You guys have won only one one game of Real Cricket 17, and आज कोई captain दो game जीतने वाला है। आपकी prediction अभी change हुई है? अभी पोज़ी हो। Never underestimate any opponent.